Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about um, positions and shifting. So the way that I normally do my shifts is that I'm listening to the inner noises of uh, what the left hand does and the inner notes like this. So that's uh, what I normally do, but there are different concepts and different ways that sometimes I use to, um, to shift and I stay in one position to do it. So when we're in first position and we go to third position, there's a difference in the thumb, isn't there? The thumb moves up with the hand. Say we go from D to F sharp. So let's stay in, in a third position and the thumb stays exactly in the same place and it's only the fingers that move up like that. So the thumb stays as a guide. Say we want to do F sharp to A, which is... So let's be in third position. So the feeling is, not that we've moved into fifth position, but we're still in third position. So you have the feeling that you're still in third position. You're still anchored at this particular point. And within a certain reach, you can actually do it all. And you're still in third position, really. And you feel that you're in third position. So it's a bit like um, your thumb is in the same place and your fingers just move up like that right? So everything is still in the same position, but it's just extended fingers like that, right? That's the feeling. Now, this is an incredibly useful uh, thing to learn, to feel, because you've got two ways of being in tune. Not only uh, do you shift by listening, shifting up and stopping when you reach the desired note, but you also build up uh, a memory in your whole hand um, that's based on thumb anchoring, okay? So that's the idea of it, that the thumb is exactly in the same place and the fingers move and then the, the uh, it's like third position is universal. Now, of course, that can only get you so far um, and then you have to shift your thumb underneath the neck uh, rather than at the side but the way to ex um, to practice it is to just start to get that movement just slide up and down like this once you get the feeling then you can start playing things uh, in tune but if you can just generate the feeling first like that. Then you can start teaching your hand how to be in tune. For example, if you just want to go uh, one tone up from D to E with the first finger like that. So this is fourth position, but I don't feel as if I'm in fourth position. I feel I'm in still third position. But in fact, your hand learns very, very quickly how to be accurate um, up to quite high positions. So you're not le left with just one guide, which is uh, your fingers, but you're left with another guide, um, which is very in contact with the, the violin all the time, with the shape of the neck, and that's the thumb. So that's why it's so useful when you're up here that you can actually teach your fingers to be incredibly accurate. Probably you've got larger hands than me and you could probably reach right up to the top, still sort of nominally staying in third position. So that's the idea and it's really the way to tackle more difficult pieces. Um, Paganini, Wieniawski, all the really tricky um, pieces that have a lot of high work in them, a lot of shifting and everything and you, you need extra um, guidance 
a built into your hand for that. And this is really how to do it. So the other thing is that because your uh, thumb is probably longer than mine, um, it will probably look more like that, that it'll stick up and it'll sort of move around as you extend your finger, your fingers up. And I think that's a, a great uh, position to have uh, because you can really see how relaxed my thumb is when I do that. Right, I can't actually reach very far doing that, so I have to lower my thumb down a little bit um, to adapt to my small hands. So adaptation is the name of the game. Uh, we have different shaped shoulders, uh, fingers. Uh, I've got tiny hands <laughs> and a really short fourth finger. So everything has to be adapted, but um, it's possible, you know, it doesn't stop you from moving forward if you are, uh, don't take um, what someone says and you can't do it as a failure, look for a better technique for yourself. So th that's including me, if you see something that I do and you don't really like it, that's absolutely fine. Search for something that does suit you. Okay, so I'll, I'll leave it there and I hope you get on really well with um, thumb anchoring and I hope you have many moments of realisation because that's what this channel is all about. So I'll say bye-bye for now. Bye.